Now here's something interesting to show you. It's a little glass tube. It's sealed at both ends where my finger and thumb are. And inside there's nothing in it. Well, there is actually gas inside, but you can't see it. It looks like invisible. Nothing behind it, nothing. But there is a gas inside. Now something strange will happen when I bring up a block of ice and cool it down. At the moment it's about room temperature. But if I bring up a block of ice, it'll cool it down and make it cold. Just rub it up and down to cool the glass and then the gas inside will get cold and oh look suddenly something's appeared. How extraordinary. Put the white on top that's all fizzing. It's still there so to make it disappear I've got to warm it up. So I'll use my little finger which is not quite so cold. Oh it's icy cold that. But I can still see a little bit of the liquid so try along there. Takes a bit of time, I think it's all gone. Oh, tiny bit at the bottom there. So now it's disappeared. What an astonishing thing. Where did it come from? It's now empty. We'll try it again, shall we? All I'm doing is I'm cooling it down with a block of ice and something suddenly appears inside, a liquid. Rubbing it up and down, fizz, 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 it's going. Now the fizzing has disappeared, but there's a definitely, a, it's about a, a quarter full of liquid. I don't know what the liquid is at this stage, but goodness me. Now we've got to make that disappear by heating it up. We just rub my fingers and get them a bit warmer. Yes, the actual tube is icy cold. I can feel it's icy cold, so the liquid inside is icy cold too. Warm it up a bit more there with a bit of rubbing. I think it's now... No, no, is that a bit there? Make me think it's still there. No, I think that's gone now. It's disappeared. What disappeared? The gas. Well, inside that is a very interesting gas. It's xenon, which is um, one of the inert gases. It's very heavy, and it's got a peculiar property that although it normally would liquefy at minus 100, when it's in here, it's got 65 atmospheres in there. So the glass is very strong. It's holding a very, very high pressure inside. At that temperature, so the transition back to a liquid is only 16 degrees. So in the room temperature, it's a bit more than that now, but when I put the gloss of ice, block of ice on it, it gets to below 16 and it appears and liquefies. And when I warm it up again, and I'll do that one more time, at the moment it's room temperature, just about, now it's going to go down beneath room temperature, down to about, not freezing point, look, almost instantly. That's fizzing away and it's now definitely liquid there, and to get rid of the liquid, mm, I warm my finger a bit, my thighs. I rub it like this, I can feel it's icy cold on my fingertip, and it's pretty well, no, a bit more left there. It disappeared, it's going to, no, I can still see it there, it's using a bit of warm of my base of my finger. That's almost there. <laughs> and now the xenon gas has evaporated and it's a completely transparent gas once more. An astonishing way of proving that, um, well, the gas law, it's, as you increase the pressure, the volume decreases, but it's got this transition temperature which makes it so interesting. When it's at a high pressure, it'll change from one to the other at a very, very round, well, easy, easy to reach temperature of 16 degrees, which is normal, almost room temperature. So. A wonderful demonstration of this, and done with a very, very rare gas, xenon.